Hello everybody out there. This is Utsu Singh from Smart Tech and today I'm going to show you guys how to set up LODs in video trees. That is mean um LODs are basically level of the tail. So as you move far out from your static mesh, um it replaces it with meshes that are basically uh, with lower polygons to improve performance in real time games all right so first thing in this video i'm also going to discuss the materials so i've got these two materials which i am going to walk you through all right so this is not my usual step by step guide i'm just going to walk you through the materials and how they operate all right so what i did here is basically use material attributes um the first thing is why i did this so if i wanted since i am looping between these two based on height all right so i'm looping between these two set of textures based on height one is my base and the second will be my blend color right so what i'm here doing is that when if i wanted to use normal things like this i'll have to go like for base color lob between these two values using this for specular lob between these two values and put the alpha and the put the output in the specular but what i wanted to do um that will make my material look like a complete mess so i just did a simpler way as i turned out material attributes dragged in these two convert to parameters and just make material attribute and make material attributes and plug these values in and blend material attributes is a node you will find blend material attributes all right so and, and use the alpha for the alpha i'm going to use a linear gradient all right so linear gradient on the v axis gives me a gradient on the v axis or a vertical gradient all right so i'll just show you guys what it is i'm going to start reviewing the node as you can see here um it goes from complete white to black at the top all right um that's what you want and this power node will help you um get more contrast between these um it will actually kind of help you control the distance control the black and white values and where they are multiply is just the intensity i just wanted to add that control i usually do it and then i add an option to i use a static switch so what i'm gonna use a boolean in my instance it is going to say invert gradient if it's true use one minus node to invert these zero to one values and if it's false just use the normal gradient in this case it is true and then it's not necessary just put it in and then i just do the, instead of plugging this directly there's a reason i did it so when you want to adjust your height your power might go to values below zero or above zero i mean or above five ten and that makes it brighter or way too darker um which leads to values above one or below zero sometimes um that will affect the blend and look it weird make it look weird so what i'm going to do is say um just clamp it between these zero and value zero and one values make sure it stays between those all right and i'll just put this into the bark master in the end all right so here is a bark master i've got this instance my blend power i'll just set to one because it worked basically for me um invert gradients true now this bark three that is my texture set one um is my base so i had a mossy texture here and a base texture here um these were available when we imported these meshes while um let me see i've got this folder create to ue4 all right let's open it up um why is it slowing down so much sorry guys yeah well, all right so models and this code texture at this um in our models when you exported the map you had all this stuff um these textures all and we exported a billboard map my ourselves um while we were creating the tree right so i just imported that map and these maps as well and all i had to do well i just had to put them on all right so what next um remember we were facing a problem um the problem was that the leaves were 
just inverted the branches were the connection with with the branches was not proper and here it is pretty much okay not perfect as of now but it's okay so what we did was created a blender file and imported a model in if you remember let me just open that up for you hmm. all right so first thing you'll notice is i'm going to delete this to avoid confusion and i'm gonna bring my model back in so if you remember we had this kind of a model in here so let me just reset this real quick. so you are noticing that yours might be pure white and mine has this material on it so when we export it from ue4 the fbx has these materials already in them all right so all i needed to do was go in here turn this on texture solid just press n to open this all right and now what you want to do is you want to go into edit mode just from here or press tab in my case this is an add-on all right um which helps a lot and all i did was press l l l l l to select these leaves and press shift g and make sure to go into face mode all right just con just all you need to do is control tab and three control tab three shift g for select similar or you could just go here select all by trade and stuff select similar is here shift g i want the area right and um, that's a lot of them unfortunately i cannot select them all together um let's see perimeter perimeter helps a lot as well and shift g area just let me hide these to prevent more confusion i just pressed h to hide these they will remain selected shift g normal no don't do normal please area yeah normals are basically the the direction towards which um the model is the polygon is pointing all right so again i'm going to use area hide again they will just remain selected no worries there shift g area and h all right this is perfect so alt h and this should all be selected now the next thing you want to do is go in here press n to remove that go into uv image editor and as you can see you have these leaves selected all you need to do now is just rotate these by 90 180 i did a 180 turn in my model and i just file export fbx select object geometry edge loose edges and just override it all right so now next thing is we wanted to create a billboard so billboards are basically um let me just say billboards are a polygon plane that is basically the last level of led that you would ever want um it is just a single polygon with an image on to, on top of it so how do we do it press shift c to center it all and make sure this is made in point or individual version shift a and press plane all right now it is flat plane R on the X axis that is rotate on the X axis 90 degree press shift tab um, to go into snap view all right so grab on the Z axis and pull it up like that now as you can see our cursor is here and we want to scale from only the top I don't want to scale it all so if I try to scale it on the Z it scales from both the direction because currently it is using the center as the point to scale out from Let's just say we wanted to use this 3D cursor as the point to scale out from. So what should we do? Set this to 3D cursor. Control tab 2 to go into edge mode. Alright. And scale on the Z. Actually just select this or scale on the Z. Alright. And just go here. Wireframe. Alright. So as you can see very well. We'll actually scale on the X a bit. Scale on the Z a bit. Cool. Now, next thing, press here, open, um, um, go to a directory that you saved your billboard.bmp on, alright, just open it up. Now, what you want to do is, you have this image, you want to say that this object only takes this image properly. So, you unwrap, alright, 
so it unwraps this polygon and just control A and P control P control A doesn't matter since it's a single polygon here S on the X I just wanted to now what I want to do is going to solve mode again just press here um, here all right I want to just select this medium point doesn't matter right right now I'll just go here and press H remember uh, texture solid was on that doesn't look proper to me does it to you not very proper to me so just select this rotate by um, 90 um, minus 90 and that looks weird to me all right so grab on the X actually just scale on the X or scale on the Y if you must grab on the Z I mean on the Y actually and turn off the snapping by pressing shift tab or right, just say like this I think I will keep that scale on the X again scale on the Y grab that right there all right, good. so we have got this um, a perfectly UV unwrapped image that I like um, just if I do project from view not very perfect all right so UV smart UV project okay it will cover the whole image and if I scale from here as you can see it likes to keep the proportions I guess and I like this one better same thing doesn't change anything scale on the X I like this all right okay so now um, this is how it should look when I import this plane into your force. So file, export, fbx again. Just I have this billboard.fbx already exported. I just overwrite it. Now what I do next to set up this LOD is going to here, open my static mesh. Now next thing is this. Alright, LOD import, import LOD level 1 billboard.fbx right so here we go I'll just let it load it should show me an error warning no smoothing group sound no need to worry about that you can ignore it in this case and just put it up all right so this has well a pretty much empty thing that we don't like now as you can see uh, oh wow Here's the problem again. There's one problem that we didn't notice. I actually didn't notice, alright. So for that, when I exported, I exported everything. So it included just press Alt H to unhide. It included this one, this tree as well. I just wanted to select this file, export FPS selected objects. Oh, great. So let me just see. Billboard.fpx and overwrite it, save it, and close that. Alright. So now what you have is, well, let's go down here, where was it, come on, it was an option in LOD1, no, re-import LOD level 1, billboard.fpx, and it should only show us the billboard itself. Again, that message log will turn up, I'll just ignore that. And here, as you can see, now here's the problem. We scale a tree by 5x um, in the LOD1 screen, actually in the build settings, sorry. Um, actually, go to LOD0 here, all right. So um, we scaled it by 5, so what I want to do is scale this by 5. Just scaling my billboard to match the size of my tree so it doesn't suddenly um, change its size which will look pretty distracting for the user all right so now as I move out wait this thing I did change one setting if you normally move out right now I'll show you guys what will happen so there's this magic setting called auto computer distance it is already turned on while creating LODs um, it is meant to be say it is gotta be four to five different LOD levels um, because um, you can't just have this alright so 
what it says is have a less polygon more even less of polygons less even more less polygons and then just a billboard but since we are just having a billboard here um, and it's sort of computing this sense it just messes up our look and how do we fix that so there is this thing called called auto computer ID distance turn that off now go to your custom hello d1 I want to view this right now so the here's the setting screen size 0 0.75 so if you reduce this 0 0.015 works for me all right so now as I move out keep moving out wait for it current screen size as you can see here 0 0.015 the moment it hits it will do it as you might be thinking it might be a little too much but really it isn't because you are expected to have um, a few more LEDs in between uh, or maybe it is a bit I think it is it was 0.15 never had this much distance since for the sake of the video I'm going to do it let me just see what I have here 0.15 won't be very good but hey as you can see the moment I hit 0.15 it happened alright so all I need to do is get in get out get in get out alright so we don't have a material yet so um, just import that billboard.bmp and I'll just show you guys again it's a to must now as my leaves say actually I still have to explain this right now so I will just explain it soon All right, so my billboards are um, I have my base color and I'm using an opacity mass mass material so this tells the alpha has black and white values in it um, telling us basically where the object is to be and we're not uh, where it is not meant to look be visible all right so what I want to do is use this black and white to say in the white areas um, show the image in black tone because in the black areas as you can see in the actual image um, the thumbnail it is pretty messed up right so that's all all you need to do is set it to mass it will give you an option for opacity mask and you can just plug it in here and put the base color in here and that's it now there's one more thing the leaves the main material so first thing I did was I want to have wind so I created this world position offset um, actually in the world position offset I plugged in simple grass wind um, with the wind in intensity parameter and wind weight one handy trick is you can just right click and promote the parameter and you have this pretty handy right so in the additional world position it is not necessary to parameterize it I just did it for fun alright so now I set the metallic to zero because leaves usually don't have any metallic values. Specular, I use my specular map here, and my normals are here. Main thing I'm doing is with my subsurface color and my blend and my base color. All right. So I just quickly named these none and none. Don't know why. I think they should grow none and none one. All right. So what I'm saying is blend between these two colors based on the details of the leaves. I'm not using any mask or something because I just using the RGB values here because well they will mask on per channel and still give me the underlying details. I'm saying base color overlay true. This is a uh, this is called a static switch. Sorry, static switch parameter. All right, you just import it in and name it. All right, so I'm saying if it's true, then use this blended color value if it's false do this use the simple base color for my base color now let's move on to the main part and I use the alpha or the base color for the opacity mask not necessary you can use the spec or normals because they are basically in the same atlas right they are representing the same leaves so they have the same alphas in this case so I'm just saying um, take this final base color value that is being outputted and well, go down here. This one is called a reroute node. It just helps to manage your connections. Or in here, I just put a reroute and do this. Or I could have done 
put it back in here or I could have gone here and plug this in here which messes things up and I don't like that when it comes to big materials all right so what I did is I said well I want um, a triple S color blend so I said on top of the triple S map um, blend a color and this side is static switch parameter do you want to blend a color over it or do you not and then I said do you even want to use a map or do you not if you don't want to use a map then go and create this this final base color and on top of it add a customizable triple S color um, this triple this blend overlay overlays a color or on top of another one so I said um, use triple S map true then hell yes use that um, then go and find this mechanism and check if I am using my base color or not so this one says if it is false use base color overlay it says if it's true then use this um, value that is basically um, an overlay your base color here the final base color that you are outputting doesn't matter if it's the low value or the final or the main base color map um, whether to overlay it color overlay it with a color um, to get some customized better looks more realistic looks or or you just want to use um, the base color as the triple S map all right so it remain retains the color no matter the lighting all right and subsurface color so I haven't explained subsurface color and the settings that I use usually the opacity mask will be turned off and your subsurface will be off so set this to mask like in my billboard all right and my two-sided foliage set this to unlock the subsurface color all right so I'll just set it to now again I created an instance for this stuff I'm using the master material pipeline because um, if you want to um, let's just say you are creating a game or something you need to have varieties right so you may be having 500 I mean 200 I am pretty sure there's a pack with 200 or, or so three trees and it's pretty awesome right so in that case this master uh, this instance usage can be very optimize not exactly optimize it's very fast it, may, it will fasten workflow because it will be ridiculous to um, make master materials for each tree right um, it will just bad so now I just remember this billboard instance put this in here I'm not sure why this one is showing I don't need that even let me just save it all right cool so now as I move out it should get replaced as you can see it got replaced now as you can see it adapted to the lighting it was in and just one single polygon there and let's just say I want to view this this is how my LUD looks just like in blender right so you can basically decide how it looks in blender and I just needed to show you guys um, it, you have to add this roughness because it will look weird without a roughness it will shine um, which you basically don't want right so now my search surface color um, is basically when the light is on an object the back face the the way the light affects the back face what happened there sorry I might have pressed the height button on it so it says the subsurface color is when an object is hit by the light um, what color shows up in the back side of that object um, as the light affects it so you need to match your subsurface to your uh, your object subsurface to your scene sliding all right as you can see it's pretty good in here I like the shades now that's it for this video right um, please do give me the feedback whether you like this method of tutorials of me going over materials rather than creating and showing you guys how to create them step by step or well um, please do give feedback feed the feedback if you like the video press the like button if you didn't well you know what to do and if you want to get uh, know a little bit more about this stuff like 
let's just say creating grass i have a series on that as well and if you want to keep yourself updated um, about any videos that i posted you can subscribe as well and make sure to share the channel because it helps out thanks see you